AutoCAD 2010 now includes the ability to create and modify geometric and dimensional constraints, which help ensure that specific relationships and measurements remain persistent even as objects are modified. AutoCAD LT 2010 cannot create these constraints, but it can view, use, or delete them if they have already been created in AutoCAD 2010. The tools for displaying and managing the geometric and dimensional constraints are located on the Parametric Ribbon tab, which is automatically displayed in the default 2D Drafting and Annotation workspace. To help identify constrained geometry, an icon consisting of two light blue squares appears next to the cursor when hovering over a constrained object. You can also see information about the type of constraint if you turn on the display of parametric constraints. Icons will then appear next to the constrained objects with an image of the constraint type. For example, by hovering over these two circles, I can see that they have been constrained to always remain concentric. If I attempt to move one of the circles, the other follows in order to maintain that relationship. For more on AutoCAD 2010 and parametric constraints, visit the AutoCAD homepage at www.autodesk.com slash AutoCAD.